In Kazakhstan, human rights lawyer Zinaida Merhortova was released from a psychiatric institution where she had been held against her will since August. Merhortova says she is healthy and that the investigation into her mental competence began only after she filed complaints against a regional governor. Human Rights Watch had demanded Merhortova's release from the clinic. In the Georgian capital, Tbilisi, squatters protested against being evicted from their temporary home in an abandoned government building. The residents, some of whom have lived there for a year, say that authorities tried to evict them without proper warning. Officials have promised to provide money for rent for those squatters who qualify for state support. In Lviv, in western Ukraine, volunteers lit some 40,000 candles in memory of the people buried in Lichaikov Cemetery, including those whose graves have been abandoned. Many Polish volunteers took part in the event to honor Lviv's Polish minority. Lighting candles for the dead on November 1st is a tradition in Ukraine. In Moscow, police detained 14 opposition protesters late on October 31st for holding an unauthorized rally on Triumphalnaya Square, which was officially closed to the public. Members of this Strategy 31 group regularly hold protests on the 31st of the month to highlight Article 31 of the Russian Constitution, which guarantees the right to demonstrate. In Erbil, the capital of Iraq's Kurdistan region, activists protested in front of a UN office against the recent executions of Kurdish prisoners in Iran. Iran this week executed two ethnic Kurds for allegedly belonging to a militant Kurdish organization. Other Kurdish prisoners remain on death row in Iran. And in the Iraqi capital, young women competed in the annual Miss Baghdad beauty pageant. The contest started in the 1940s, but disappeared during the Ba'ath Party era and was revived again in 2007. And that's the news roundup from Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty.